In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. We acknowledge the compassion, the mercy, and the love of God who heals us. You forgive our sins, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You call us to new hope, new life every day, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You call us away from confusion into love, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us into healing and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us your servants corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord spoke to Moses, Go down now, because your people whom you brought out of Egypt have apostatized. They have been quick to leave the way I, might, I marked out for them. They have made themselves a calf of molten metal and have worshipped it and offered it sacrifice. Here is your God, Israel, they have cried, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. I can see how headstrong these people are. Leave me now, my rod shall blaze out against them and devour them. Of you, however, I will make a great nation. But Moses pleaded with the Lord his God. Lord, he said, why should your, your rod blaze out against this people of yours, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt with arm outstretched and mighty hand? Why let the Egyptians say, Ah, it was in treachery that he brought them out, to do them to death in the mountains and wipe them off the face of the earth? Leave your burning wrath, relent, and do not bring this disaster on your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, your servants to whom, by your own self, you swore and made this promise. I will make your offspring as many as the stars of heaven, and all this land which I promised, I will give to your descendants, and it shall be their heritage forever. So the Lord relented, and did not bring on his people, the disaster he had threatened. The word of the Lord. Thanks be Thanks to God. God. Lord, remember us for the love you bear your people. Lord, remember us, us for the love you bear your people. They fashioned a calf at Horeb and worshipped an image of metal, exchanging the God who was their glory for the image of a bull that eats grass. Remember us, Lord, for the love you bear your people. They forgot the God who was their Saviour, who had done such great things in Egypt, such portents in the land of Ham, such marvels at the Red Sea. Remember us, Lord, for the love you bear your people. For this he said he would destroy them, but Moses, the man he had chosen, stood in the breach before him to turn back his anger from destruction. Remember us, Lord, for the love you bear your people. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. God loved the world so much, he gave us his only Son, that all who believe in him might have eternal life. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lord to you, o Lord. Jesus said, Were I to testify on my own behalf, my testimony would not be valid. But there is another witness who can speak on my behalf. 
and I know his testimony is valid. You sent messengers to John and he gave his testimony to the truth. Not that I depend on human testimony. No, it is for your salvation that I speak of this. John was a lamp, a light and shining. And for a time, he were content to enjoy the light that he gave. But my testimony is greater than John's. The works my father gives me to carry out, these same works of mine, testify that the Father has sent me. Besides, the Father who sent me bears witness to me himself. You have never heard his voice, you have never seen his shape, and his word finds no home in you, because you do not believe in the one he has sent. You study the scriptures, believing that in them they have eternal life. Now these same scriptures testify to me, and yet you refuse to come to me for life. As for human approval, this means nothing to me. Besides, I know you too well. You have no love of God in you. I have come in the name of my Father, and you refuse to accept me. If someone else comes in their own name, you will accept them. How can you believe, since you look to one another for approval and are not concerned with the approval that comes from the one God? Do not imagine that I am going to accuse you before the Father. You place your hopes in Moses, and Moses will be your accuser. If you really believed him, you would believe me too, since it was I he was writing about. But if you refuse to believe what he wrote, how can you believe what I say? The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. There is a connection between the two readings. One is the Jewish people were trying to control their image of God, control God by a golden image, an idol. And in the second reading, the Jewish leaders that Jesus is addressing this address to uh, have got their own image of God which would not budge. So even when God himself comes and speaks to them, they are in love with their own image and understanding. And we are called to continue being with the God who is, and to continue being open to the God who is. And Jesus, of course, reveals God to us in the best possible way, as much as we are able to grasp it in this life. So we we'll keep on looking at Jesus if we want to know who God is. Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. This is a Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of divine work of human hands, it will become a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us of our frailty from every evil, and always grant us your protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up, the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Indeed, it is truly right and just, much more than a duty and good for our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. 
And so we glorify you with countless angels, and with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son, in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until, until you come, come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, Eugene, our Emeritus Bishop, all the clergy who serve your people and your entire family. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may through your grace merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. We now pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Hath the those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May this sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with yes. your spirit. May the peace and the blessing of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain always with you. Amen. Let us go and live the gospel. Thanks be to God. God bless your day. Oh, 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 oh.